Oh! Finally! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! Finally! <laughs> oh, what can I say? Sometimes, um... Sometimes it loads up really quick. Sometimes it takes forever. I try to um, I try to start the show a little bit early, so I kicked off the live stream at like I want to say it was like eight fifty or eight fifty one, something like that. But anyways, it took forever to connect, <laughs> so I apologize for that. But we are here, we are live, and it finally connected. I'm Lazaro. This is Baten Art. And you are tuned in to the Friday night live stream. Finally. <laughs> finally, finally. Woo. Oh my god. I don't know. It's it's so weird. It's like it's really, really odd. Like you know, last week, um so the the week before, I know, right? Finally. <laughs> And thank you, thank you for being so patient, guys. Thank you so very much. Um, but yeah, the previous like two weeks ago, I started off. I started out early because I was afraid that it wouldn't connect. Uh, so I had like 15 minutes of lead time, and then last week, I was I was afraid again that it wouldn't start. But I cut it a little bit shorter, and it connected right away. So then we had added time, and then today, I tried. I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll I'll turn it on. I'll turn on the live feature on my phone um, at, at around, you know, 8.50, 8.55. So it gives me about five minutes. And um, and it took forever. It took forever. It's like literally 30 minutes later. But nevertheless, I mean, we're going to go the full hour. So instead of starting at 8 and finishing at 9, we're going to start at 8.30 <laughs> and go to 9.30. So I hope that's okay. Uh, but anyways, with that said... I hope you guys have some really, really yummy snacks. You got something, um, a nice beverage to drink <laughs> to kick it all off. I'm going to turn on my, uh, my chat. That way I can, I can uh, reply to everybody and all that good stuff. Because I see the notifications like going through my phone. But it's easier for me to type on my, on my uh, laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Also, we have brand new lighting, brand new lighting. So I'm excited about that. Um, so basically, I bought these like brand new uh, LED LED lights, and these are uh, these are daylight uh, LED lights. And I changed all the lighting in my studio, so that's a lot better. It's better when I'm working on on actual artwork and stuff like that, and um, working on artwork. And of course, you know, lighting up the backdrop and stuff like that. So, so there we have it. Um, <laughs> I freaked out for a minute. I'm like, it's not connecting. Oh my god! Oh my god! I need an ice cream sandwich. So, <laughs> hang tight. We're gonna fix the chat real quick. Ah, uh, all right. Um, <clears throat> so there's there's good and bad when it comes to this sort of thing because. It streams really, really good on my phone, uh, but the problem, well, like first we were, first we were streaming using uh, using OBS, and that was working, that was working, but I wasn't getting the quality that I wanted, and I still, ha I'm still tweaking with it, um, but the phone works a lot better when I'm doing the live streams on Friday night. The only bad thing is it's that whole connection thing that I have no idea, but. <laughs> Yeah, it got all crazy. Yes, here I am. There I is. And there you are. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Setting up the chat. That's another thing too. It takes a little while for the video to um to show up on my on my laptop so that I could open up the chat. So, I'll have a different chat window than everybody else. <laughs> So I gotta wait till the video pops up here. Uh, it's a little bit different because I'm logged in as myself, so uh, it takes a little bit before I could activate the chat. But nevertheless, 
So, what's been going on? Has everybody had a good week, bad week? Like, <laughs> has it been crazy? <laughs> ah, thank you. It's. I'm kind of glad to see my face too. <laughs> I didn't lose my face. I didn't lose my face during the week. <laughs> um, I had an interesting thought this week. And hi, hola. <laughs> I had an interesting thought this week. I started. I was thinking about the live stream, and um, and the project and all that stuff. And I was thinking, I was like, man, what if you know? I would like to think, and and you guys can help me out with this. But I would like to think that if you're having a bad week, then Friday night, you know, you could tune into the live stream and kind of make it better. Or if you had an amazing week, you could even make it. You could make it even better by tuning into the Friday night live stream. So I was thinking about that. I'm like, hmm. That seems pretty legit. <laughs> you had a good week? Yes. Looking forward to seeing you live stream again. Yeah. Um, uh, that's something that I was talking to my beautiful queen about. And I couldn't believe it. I started looking at the stats. And it's like week by week, uh, we're getting more and more views. And it's just, it's phenomenal. So last week's video, or let me let me go back a little bit. Um because when I started the live stream, it, like I said before, it's a challenge that I wanted to do and I didn't think it was going to work and I wasn't exactly sure how to present it or this and that, whatever. But I am actually really, really surprised because uh, to go back a couple of videos, one of them had about 20 views. Um, the week before had 35 and then um, the video for the, for the painting uh, has 40 and then last week's live stream had 53 views so I was like wow that's pretty cool <laughs> so I'm excited about that um, and of course it's all you guys uh, watching the videos and and liking it and stuff like that so um, so yeah just to kind of introduce things uh, of course we have the usual suspects in the chat <laughs> I know that I know that you're there <laughs> But uh, but if you're new to the channel and you don't really know what's going on, uh, my name is Lazaro. I'm an artist, and every Friday night I kind of do this. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit the hit the bell. That way you get notifications when I go live, and we do all kinds of uh, different projects. Yeah, we're moving on up, moving on up, moving on up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, like I said, I mean I'm really excited because I want this to, like I said. To be a home for for everybody to kind of come in and if you're an artist and you got uh questions or anything like that and wherever i could help you know what i mean because i've been doing this for a very long time and uh and i've learned a lot in my day so <laughs> so I, I certainly don't mind sharing that information uh with my you know with my family with my friends with artists uh and and all of that stuff so if you like i said if you like the live stream uh, invite people, you know, come hang out. So I know that you guys are getting getting used to each other in the chat, and um, and you're saying hi, and you know, my friends are interacting with my family members and stuff like that, and it's like it's really cool. It's a real cool like synergy that's happening. So let's see if my chat pops up, and then once that happens, I'll flip the camera and we'll get right to the project. I promise. I promise. I promise. <laughs> I had a great week, by the way. Ooh, it was awesome, and I'm looking forward to an awesome weekend, an awesome weekend, look at this thing, yeah buddy, it's getting there, too busy huh, wow, well I mean, that's kind of good too, it makes, it makes for, um, it makes for the week to go back, to go by fast. So that's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let me check my dashboard. All right, so there's definitely something wacky going on. Um, because the video is not showing up, which means I can't pop up my chat. So I'll just have to, I'll just have to keep reading, keep reading the uh, the messages 
on my phone. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over. We're going to, you know, keep going. I don't want to delay anymore. Uh, but during the week, what I did is, um, of course, I was using this, I was using this, uh, this paint that takes like tons and tons of layers on the project. So during the week, what I did is I just, uh, I kept coating it and kept coating it and, you know, kept on, uh, painting that way you wouldn't, um, that way that the color would build up. So that's what I was doing during the week and you guys will see that right now. So let's flip over. Here we go. Hang on guys. Whoa! Oh, messy, messy table, messy, messy table. All right, here we go. I'll zoom in as best as I can. All right, so I got to see where I'm in frame here. But anyways, uh, so just to kind of, just to kind of show you what I did is uh, during the week, I kept painting this brown over and over and over till it built up the value. And right there, you can see a couple of a couple of uh, places where the paint kind of ran, where I had the tape. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that a little bit, and then it'll be ready for some clear coat. So we're gonna put some clear coat. I'll probably step outside real quick when I do that, um, but that's later on in the stream. I also went to Michael's and I picked up a little tube of this testers paint because. I have these markers that I wanted to use for the grill, but I'm kind of not too impressed with that. And the color, this color right here kind of matches the uh, the rims a little bit better. So we're going to be painting that. We're going to be touching this up. Um, just like Adam Savage says, we're going to hide our crimes. That's, that's a big thing that he says. It's like whenever you're doing a project, there's a place where you hide the crimes. Like... I'm pretty sure that's like Steve hiding the crimes right there when he was welding this together. I don't know. Maybe he can correct me. <laughs> but it's always that way. Like whenever you're doing a project, there's always something that you're hiding, you know, or like. So for me, during during the painting, I put a piece of tape here so I can, you know, paint it and stuff like that. But of course, I came up with these little tiny uh, imperfections. And of course, I'm going to hide those crimes right now. But for the most part, I'm really impressed. It's uh, it's really neat. And if you haven't guessed already, uh, the idea is that this is an ice cream truck. <laughs> so it's a tiny little ice cream sandwich. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought it was kind of neat. And uh, I, I like to do that. I like to play with words and, and just kind of like tease it around and and see what comes out of it so the idea is that this is an ice cream truck and i made it an ice cream truck <laughs> so that's how i entertain myself um i know it's kind of dorky or whatnot but i really like it you know like i said i was really impressed with the craftsmanship that steve put into this and uh if you're not familiar with his work make sure that you check him out he is on youtube and he goes by dangerous and hopefully he's in the chat. And if he is, then he can uh, throw a link in there so that you guys can uh, subscribe to his channel as well. If not, go through my subscriptions on my channel and you'll find him. But uh, but yeah, he does all of these little like custom Hot Wheels. And like I said, I was truly impressed uh, with how this turned out. And I was so nervous that I would mess up the paint job. And it's like, oh, sorry, Steve, I screwed it up. <laughs> but uh, but overall, it, it turned out really, really well. And I'm excited about that. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and start with the white. And we're going to go ahead and start hiding some of those crimes. Hopefully, I can get a little bit closer. All right. So that's the extent of my, uh, of my zoom there. But we're going to go ahead and start covering up some of the... Some of the brown that leaked over and hopefully I do it and I don't mess it up. I'm going to have a super steady hand and be like, Whoop. so let's see how that turns out. <laughs> oh man, let's see how it turns out. <laughs> it's always that way. It's like you're freaking out. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to... Oh, actually, duh. 
I could open it up. So yeah, like I said, for now we're kind of flying blind. Um, I won't be able to see any of the chat unless I stand up and like stare at my at my phone. But while I'm painting, I'll be sitting down. So uh, if you guys repeat things in the in the chat, I won't get mad at you. Uh, I just you know that's the only way I can see it. <laughs> All right, so let's get to painting. Let's get to painting. All right, so I got to hide these little tiny crimes here. Oh, I got too much paint. So I'm going to spread it here and kind of cover it up. So there we have it. Acceptable, acceptable. Oh, it's like really, really tiny. And of course I could tape it again, but at this point it's like, we just want to move on. Careful. This is a lot like playing Jenga. <clears throat> I'm not too concerned about the bottom because I still have to, I still have to coat that. Like I still have to paint the bottom. So if I go over on the bottom, I'm okay. It's the top that I'm concerned with, though. Ah, let's see. Now we got to do this part here. So let's try that. Okay, there it is. Covering the crime. I hope that was in frame. All right, cool. Because <laughs> like I said, I won't be able to see unless I stand up. But if I, if I was to do the project again, I would choose different paints because these were, I feel a little bit cheap on, on, uh, on the quality. And it took so many so many coats to paint it over and over and over. So I might, um, like I said, if I was to do it again, I would use different paints. Probably like either testers paint or uh, some kind of spray paint or something like that. Probably use spray paint. But there we have it. I'm going to stand it on its butt. Boop. all right and then now we have a little bit of the light brown we got a little bit of the light brown that i gotta that i gotta use so all righty all right here we go i mean the good thing is this stuff dries fast but i don't know i i think i would use a different kind of material for this particular project all right, here we go. Light brown. Ooh. All right, so with the light brown, we can cover up the door a little bit because there's still some areas that it needs it. And this is this is the back of the of the truck. So of course it's the chocolate. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, cool. All right, there we go. So that's got to sit there and dry. And then now we're going to go ahead and touch up the uh, touch up the truck. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to kind of Make sure I'm in frame. All right, here we go. So this one has little tiny crimes back here, but nothing too crazy. There we have it. I gotta be careful where I grab it. <laughs> There we are. And again, these are little tiny touch-ups that happen when you're painting with tape. Um, 
sometimes you can't you can't get around it but the good thing is that it's easy to fix and then of course now we're gonna go with the dark chocolate or the cookie I should say the dark uh, the dark brown and then we'll paint this one here All right, here we go. So again, I have to, I have to watch where I hold it. <laughs> and when you're doing this sort of stuff, it's a lot easier to hide lighter colors with darker colors. So just keep that in mind that if you mess up somewhere, you could always, you know, kind of cover it up with a darker color. But doing the reverse uh, doesn't work out so well, so. All right. And that's another thing too, it's like, being that the vehicle is so small, you have to be so ever careful not to like mess it up and the tape that I was using uh, did a really good job at at helping me you know isolate those areas that I needed to paint it's just for some reason uh, it just ran over all right so there we go we've hidden the crimes there's my makeshift stand we're going to put this here and then we're going to, that's actually prepping it for the, for the, for the clear coat. But, uh, if you look at an ice cream sandwich, it has little, it has little like dots on the top, like imprints. And we're going to simulate that with a Sharpie. So that's going to be the next step. Sharpie, Sharpie. All right. So I'm practicing on these. And it'll be something, it'll be a pattern like this here. So we want that on the, on the top of the vehicle. But before we get to that, uh, we're gonna have to paint this because it takes a little while to dry. This is a different paint that we're using so it takes a little bit longer uh, but the coverage is also better and I'm using this throwaway brush that I have because um, you could you could salvage these kinds of brushes but it's just it's not very practical to do so so I just like I have a throwaway brush that I that I don't mind getting rid of. And as you can see, the coverage is like really, really good. So again, it's like if I was if I was to do the project again, I would probably paint the entire vehicle using testers paint. But I was trying to go with what I had at the time. And you kind of learn from it. And then the good thing is, um, I'll probably buy, whoo. I'll probably buy two more vehicles and and try to try to assemble it myself and then try to paint it again or just have Steve do it for me <laughs> I'll be like Steve I need your help all right so there you can see it's a lot better a lot better quality paint and it worked out really really good so that's I'm happy with that I am happy with that result. There we go. Good coverage. And 
And the goal here is, you know, just like when you're painting anything, you want to have like clear, it's better, it's better to add paint little by little, layer by layer than it is to, um, to pile on a ton of paint. You don't want a ton of paint. All right. So that's done. And then of course, this is the throwaway brush. So we throw it away. Now we can move on to the, to the cookie. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on to the cookie and then once that's done I'm gonna take it outside clear coat it and I won't be able to assemble it tonight uh, Because this takes a while to cure You know it takes a while to cure and I don't want to like accelerate it, but nevertheless um, You'll see what it's gonna what it's gonna look like so let's go ahead and do the cookie part and that part is done with the uh with the sharpie and let me see ah ah all right hold on just one second i'll zoom out a little bit because i have to kind of bring it towards me in order to do this so here we go oh my crazy office chair all right so i want like a nice level uh field and i'm just kind of doing the dots and depending on depending on how it works out I may have to like double it up but we'll see how it goes so those are the little impressions that are on the cookie when you're eating the ice cream yeah see what's happening is the sharpie is actually going let me see it's leaving like a little gap in the middle but i think i could fill it with this one yep there we go all right so we're gonna have to go back and uh and basically fill in fill in the middle all right we could do that that's not a problem so we're gonna fill it, we're gonna fill it up with another with another sharpie, but the at least the dots are there. And it, it just again it's just to give the illusion of the of the ice cream cookie. So now these I wanna match them there. So I just wanna make sure that they're nice and level and even. This is the, the tedious part. But I think uh, I think when it's done it's gonna look really neat. And then of course with the with the clear coat it's uh, it's really cool because let me see that one that one with the clear coat it's gonna darken up these colors which is which is really cool all right here we go and it's like patience grasshopper <laughs> it's like kung fu stuff <laughs> but that's kind of the idea you know you it's like what you're doing is you're simulating something you're not you know you're not trying to get it like perfect because i think it'll it'll kind of take away from that it almost looks like a leopard print or like some kind of leopard pattern pretty cool all right we're almost there guys almost there almost there this is the part <laughs> 
this is the part that's hard on the live stream because it's like you're concentrating so hard on doing this and you're not talking to anybody. It's like, are you doing a show or what? What are you doing? But it is hard to kind of focus on both things at the same time. It's like I mentioned before, it's like patting your tummy and rubbing your head, I guess. Or vice versa. I don't know. Do you rub your belly and pat your head or pat your head and rub your belly? Which one is it? All right, that's not going to go in there. So let's see. Let's see if I can get it done with this one. All right, here we go. It's funny because the pen is actually picking up some of the paint, so it's drying it up. But that's not that's not bad. I might I might leave some of it the way that it is. It, it kind of looks neat. I don't know. I might just leave it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But that's kind of the idea right there. It's the cookie. Um, again, the video hasn't come up on my on my YouTube channel yet. So I can't bring up the chat. Uh, I'm hoping that my beautiful wife, Neela, will handle the chat duties. I hope. She's busy making dinner as well. She's multitasking. <laughs> it's like, really, dude? Now you want me to handle your chat? But I just don't want anybody to get left out. I don't know who joined in or anything, but if you uh, if you just tuned in, thank you. We are almost wrapping up with the ice cream ice cream sandwich truck. So this thing is ready for a clear coat. And I will be right back. Right back. We don't want to spray toxins in the house. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so maybe this one will do it. Let me see if I can fill in the, the little gaps here. Hold on. Yeah, that's doing the job. So the van, the van has these little ridges on the top, and when I marked it with the sharpie, it's not going in that particular groove, I guess. So I gotta kind of mess around with this sort of thing here. All right, that's not too bad. That'll work. That'll work. Alright, cool. So we're going to go ahead and do a clear coat. And I'll be right back. Hang tight. Get to know each other. Somebody tell a joke in the chat or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Again, the the car is so small that it doesn't take it doesn't take a lot, but that's the clear coat on it, and as you can see, it kind of darkened the color a little bit, but um, it has to kind of stay on this uh, stand for a while. 
So, oh, wait, wait, what do we got? All right. <laughs> Why was the baby strawberry crying? Because <laughs> his parents were in a jail. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we got that done. And, of course, like I said, I won't be able to fully assemble the car tonight because that has to, uh, that has to cure overnight. But what I'll do is, once it's all said and done and it's assembled, then I'll have some photos on Instagram and stuff like that. So, there it is. It's our little ice cream truck. Super awesome painted. And then what I did with this is, of course, I painted the back and the grill. And that's ready to go. And then the doors are painted as well. This is the, um, this is actually like the interior of the Hot Wheel. But it has these two like cargo doors in the back and that's ready to go. So uh, the vehicle is actually going to sit on top of this. This will sit here. Or actually the other way. And it will be ready to go. Just like that. So there's, there's part of the vehicle. Those are the bay doors, and then of course that will go right on top of it. But I can't, I can't grab the actual uh, car right now because it's still wet. But you can kind of, you can kind of see how it has that like shimmer onto it. It's all shiny now. So we'll let that sit there, and then now. <laughs> now we get to kill like 30 minutes <laughs> so um, just given the nature of the project you know letting stuff dry and, and things like that I was kind of afraid about that because um, because there's things that I can do off camera but then you won't really see the process of that happening so I did what I could, uh, and of course we have to <laughs> we have to let it dry. But I guarantee you, we'll have some really cool photos of this thing. It'll be awesome. It will be awesome, and of course, you have to tune in next week because next week we'll be working on this guy. <laughs> There's my ash. Hail to the king, baby! Hail to the king! There's like so many. <laughs> There's so many like jokes you can make about Ash. But um you know next week <laughs> blood <laughs> you got it. But I mean it's more than that. Uh it's more than that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to um there's a process that a lot of people do to these uh pop figures and also um props and things of that nature so like if you built a prop and it's all like super clean then it kind of it looks brand new it looks like it it looks like you created something that didn't exist in the natural world because i mean everything gets dirty so a lot of the times when you build uh, a sword or a shield or something for cosplays um you have to you have to weather it you have to weather the weather the object and then for Ash, um, like I said, the only the only detail they added was that uh, that cut on his face. But what I want to do is I want to take it a little bit further and just kind of dirty up his clothes, uh, give him a bit more weathered look, like maybe he's been doing battle and he hasn't gotten to the shower yet. <laughs> but um, but that's the idea behind it. And then of course, just like everybody mentioned in the chat, we're gonna throw blood on this guy and make him real messy uh, and get him looking like Ash normally looks on the TV so that'll be really awesome that's gonna be next week's project uh, we have the ice cream truck is gonna be drying right there and uh, and that's how we did it and it's really really neat that we were able to do that and uh, let's see let's switch real quick switching Boom, boom camera time gotta get the lights out but um but anyways going oh you can see my little my... <laughs> it gives us a it gives us a better view of of the painting that we did but anyways um so yeah that's 
that's basically how we customize uh, Hot Wheels, and I think it's I think it's really neat, uh, especially something that Steve is is a part of, and like I mentioned before, he finds all these little cool cars, and uh, it was just a it was just a, a really cool thing to, you know, like I said, combine our powers <laughs> and come up with something neat. So I'm really I'm really excited about that. And it was it was a really cool Friday, you know, Friday night stream. Uh, we've done we did that painting, which is really, really cool. Uh, we did the custom car. We're going to do a custom pop. And as we move further along in the year, we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. And it'll be it'll be really cool. But if you guys have any ideas or anything that you want me to do, I will jot them down and that can be a live stream, which will be kind of cool. You know, I'm already thinking of, um, of, of course, doing uh, Christmas ornaments, uh, stuff like that. Little, little keepsakes. There's also, uh, there's also another, there's also, also another project I'm working on since I've been playing Skyrim so much uh, that I want to do. And, it, and it's really cool. And it, it deals with um, a couple of things. But one of the things that we'll be using will be Sculpty. So if you guys are not familiar with Sculpty or are new to the world of Sculpty, then um, then you guys can see how I do a little project Skyrim based using Sculpty. <laughs> and that's the thing. We have we have a couple of things. So you have original Sculpty, which is the white one, and then you also have Super Sculpty which is a tan colored um, material and it has a slightly different feel to it it's a lot smoother in the sense of um, sanding when you when you get to sanding this sands a lot more smoother than the original scopey in my opinion but um, if you wanted to do something like custom pops or you want to do some kind of uh, jewelry or ornaments and stuff like that. You got to look at the different kinds of scopey that there that uh, is available to you. And for like I said, when I'm doing these pops and stuff, um, the custom pops, then I tend to use I tend to use the original white scopey. So a lot of the times I'll get a commission to do a custom pop. I'll find a pop that someone likes like let's say you wanted a custom ash you know so I would buy the ash pop and then make all the changes that I needed to make and then deliver a final product that's all custom made I have a friend of mine uh, Viet who who does a lot of customizing of action figures like um, you know actual uh, posable action figures and stuff like that he also works with uh, pops which is like really really neat and I just think it, I, I just think it's a cool, fun way to kind of change things up rather than just buying something in the store. Of course, you know, I have tons of toys and uh, a lot of them are collectibles. A lot of them are exclusives. Like I have a lot of exclusive pops that I don't mess with. But um, but with this one, <laughs> I just had to have an ash and I had to um, I had to just dirty him up and kind of make him real bloody and super awesome. So. That'll be next week's um, next week's live stream. So other than that, is there is there anything that um, that you guys are interested in or are interested in learning that maybe we can do here on the live stream? Just let me know. Uh, let me know. Definitely leave me a comment. Also, uh, it'll be great if you can like the video, uh, and that way we get it we get it out to more people uh, that may be interested in the stuff that we do. And kind of hang out with us and all that good stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So the Hot Wheel is going to, um, it's going to be drying, and I have it. It's funny because this makeshift stand is actually one of these bottles <laughs> inside here. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a clear coat to it, and it's just, it's just ready to go. So I think it's going to be really. Um, Let's make friends. <laughs> hey, Steve, what's up? You finally made it. Hey, look, there's the car. I hope I didn't mess it up, brother. 
<laughs> I hope I didn't mess it up. But uh, but anyways, it's you know again it's like a little ice cream sandwich. Oh, Steve, by the way, can you can you link to your uh, YouTube that way people can follow you? That'll be great. And then any other artists that are out there, I know Leanne and Trace. If you guys want to link up, that'd be awesome. But um, but yeah, there's there's a little ice cream truck, and then of course we have the detail on the top. It's clear coated. And I'm pretty sure by tomorrow morning, I should be able to put it together. Uh, there's the truck, or I should say the, the cargo doors for the back of the truck. And just to kind of give you an idea, that's basically going to fit in here. And that'll cover up that right there. And then, of course, the bottom of the vehicle. And it has these, like, I don't know if you could really tell, but it has these, like, really cool tires. <laughs> And we painted the bumper using the testers paint and the front grill. It's all shiny. There you go. All super shiny. And uh, and yeah, it'll, it'll come together real nice. So I'm excited about that. And like I said, uh, this has been a, a really funny, a really funny, well not funny, but like fun live stream. Because like I said, when I first got the vehicle, I was like, I hope I don't mess this up. <laughs> but it turned out really well. Uh, just to kind of go over the materials. So we use two kinds of paint. We use this Apple Barrel. They're like 50 cents to a dollar in Walmart. Uh, we also used another. It's it's the same thing. 50 cents to a dollar um, at Walmart also. And these are just acrylic paints that we used. And then I used testers paint which is usually the kind of paint that you use on um, on model kits and stuff like that so I picked up some of this this is gold and I don't know how much this is these are, these are like two three dollars but I picked this up at Michael's uh, of course you go to Home Depot and either Home Depot or you or or like Walmart and you just pick up clear coat <laughs> I use clear coat on everything like paintings and stuff like that you use clear coat uh, just to kind of give it that sheen uh, to brighten up the colors and like I said these are all these are all materials that you can find uh, at your local store and uh, let's see we'll see I got some paint <laughs> if you mess it up <laughs> oh, you're killing me man <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. We could always repaint it <laughs> if I mess it up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, all of these things you can buy it in the store and it's really cheap. Uh, you can buy the Hot Wheels. You can you can buy uh, JB Weld. Um, Steve, where do you where do you get your JB Weld? Just like anywhere, right? Like any hardware store or not hardware, but uh, automotive store. Where do you get your JB Weld? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he if he left the chat or not, but um, but yeah, if you're interested, JB Weld uh, could get purchased at uh, hardware stores. That's usually what it or automotive stores. That's what they use it for. I don't know if I don't know if Walmart will carry it, but maybe they do. I don't know, but I know that he uses JB Weld. He uses um, use a draw. I know you use a drill and a couple of, like a small hacksaw. Uh, right by right by where we live, because uh, Steve and I live close to each other. But uh, right by where we live, they have a Harbor Freight, and Harbor Freight is like it's good and bad. Harbor Freight has like really cheap tools, which is bad. <laughs> But um, if you're into if you're into just uh, DIY projects and cosplaying and stuff like that, the, it's an actually it's actually a really good place to get uh, to get sandpaper. That's one of the things that they have there. So I get a lot of sandpaper uh, and small tools. Nothing nothing too big, but they do have a lot of clamps. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Clamps, tape, uh, tape is definitely something you can buy. At Harbor Freight, and then we have a Walmart close to us, and of course a Home Depot close to us. So these are all places I frequent, 
And it's like, it's really funny because when you're working on a project, you might be gathering materials. Uh, <laughs> you might be gathering materials that don't seem very conventional. It's like, oh yeah, you're, are you fixing a, are you fixing a pipe or a sink? It's like, uh, actually no, but I do need some, uh, some PVC pipe and some glue and some nails. And where do you keep your electrical tape? And, <laughs> and you just leave with all this stuff because you're building some kind of, you know, project for a convention or whatnot. And so cosplayers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> It's like, I mean, even, you know, even something like this. So I'm working on a project and I needed a Dremel, uh, a Dremel sanding bit. And, you know, it's like, this is, this is for like metal and all, and wood and all kinds of stuff, like to grind down material. And, you know, I'm using it to grind down scope, <laughs> uh, which, which tends to happen in our world a lot. So if you're a creative person or you just you know you're a diy person those are all the those are all the the trials and tribulations that you go through and the weird looks that you get uh when you're buying supplies in stores but but yeah so there we have it um let's see i don't see the problem the problem with the clear coat is ah okay cool we might be able to do this all right so I, i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the camera over and i'm gonna try to assemble it because it's actually pretty dry. I know that sometimes with clear coat, uh, if you touch it, it'll leave your fingerprints on it, but this is actually pretty good. We might be able to put it together. So I'm gonna flip the camera, that way you guys can see that. All right, here we go. All right, back down here. All right, we gotta move Ash out of the way. And then I have everything we need to um to assemble the vehicle so we're gonna do that let's see i mean it's dry enough to where we can do it so the first thing that has to happen is we have to put these windows in and then i have the four screws for the uh for the vehicle so let's go ahead and try to do that let's try to do it let's try to do it here we go all right so yeah uh it's pretty dry i like it that's actually really rare because um, the clear coat sometimes takes a while uh, to to dry up. So I'm hoping that I put these in the way that Steve can. <laughs> uh, I'm not very skilled when it comes to putting these together, but I'll do my best. So we have one. And then the second window goes right here, like this. And I guess they kind of like tuck in together. Yep, just like that. All right, cool. So we got that. And then here's the, the doors in the bottom half of the vehicle. And I'm, I'm still hesitant to grab it like full on. <laughs> just in case it's not completely dry, but, uh, but yeah, so let's set it down for a minute because all of this has to line up a certain way. All right, sweet. There it is. Woohoo! Great success. All right, there are the screws. Oh, this is awesome. So excited. I was, uh, I was afraid that it wouldn't be dry or done or ready by the end of the stream, but we made it. We actually got something. And I guess the I guess the, the, the vehicle is so small that the clear coat was um was enough to kinda to kinda dry fast. So there it is. There's a little truck. <laughs> hey, hey. 
There we go. So there it is. There is our little ice cream truck sandwich. Or ice cream sandwich truck. Ice cream truck. Hot wheel ice cream truck. <laughs> hey, there it is. Very cool. That turned out really neat. So there it is. Uh, I got to probably do a little bit more painting on the sides here. But for the most part, I mean, we did accomplish our goal. <laughs> and there it is. So, uh, so yeah, Steve, there's the paint job. <laughs> I made you an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be delivering this to Steve. That way he can, uh, he can have it. Uh, <laughs> you need it. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Steve. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you. But yeah, like. You know, again, like I said, it was a it was a really cool project. Um, I'm always impressed with uh, with Steve's craftsmanship. These were two vehicles that he uh, welded together using JB Weld, and uh, he's able to make customizations to the screws, uh, so you could take the actual like vehicle apart and paint it however you want. And and there it is. It turned out really really cool. I I did learn a lot from this. This is the first time I ever paint a Hot Wheel. Um, so I would use I would definitely use different materials. I would uh, I would do a couple of things slightly different, but overall I'm I'm pretty excited with the way it turned out. And I'm I'm just really thrilled that you guys were here, uh, just hanging out with me and getting it done, getting the ice cream truck done. <laughs> oh man this is awesome this is like really really awesome i mean yeah you know like i said there's a couple of touch-ups here and there uh that i see and then i could always clear coat it again but for the live stream uh that is that is pretty cool that we uh that we finished it we finished the hot wheel car and there it is a little ice cream sandwich <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. It turned out really well. Turned out really cool and I'm and I'm excited about that. Like I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. But uh but yeah. Let me see if we can get a little bit more lighting on it. Without like getting There we go. So there's the cookie top. There's our little ice cream sandwich truck. <laughs> And there it is. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in its protective package once it's completely cured. And then, and then that's it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. So, yeah, uh, like I said, you know, as always, you know, thanks for hanging out on a Friday. Sorry about um, all the technical. We have to do another one. Yeah, we could definitely do another one, man. That'd be awesome. Uh, but, yeah. You know, of course, uh, thanks for hanging out. We had a really good time. We have, you know, we always have cool things that we can that we can work <laughs> in in the live stream. Um, but yeah, sorry about earlier having slight technical difficulties, but uh, but we'll work through those things and it'll get better. And like I said, uh, if you're new, if you're watching, subscribe definitely so that you get notifications and. Uh, and yeah, you know, kind of get to get to know new people and get to know new things and hang out with me and kind of see what I do on a Friday night. And uh, and like I was telling my wife, uh, I really I really enjoy it. I like just kind of you know chilling and doing these little projects and and just kind of seeing what's what all is uh, what all is going on. So if you guys have projects that you want to see me do uh, make sure to leave comments or just you know just let me know you can send me messages and stuff like that and uh and next week ooh, next week we're gonna fill this place full of blood <laughs> but uh but yeah so there you have it i hope you guys have a wonderful 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 weekend i hope that you had a great week as well and uh 
uh, yeah, we'll we'll do another exciting project next week. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised that uh, that nobody mentioned anything about you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all us football fans it is Super Bowl weekend we'll see we'll see how it goes Patriots versus the Eagles I don't know not to start any you know not to start any controversy of course but I am looking for I am looking forward to uh, a good football game so uh, so we'll see we'll see how it goes <laughs> but I am surprised that nobody <laughs> that nobody said anything <laughs> It's like what? Why are you wearing the Patriots? But it's always that way. You have uh, you have people that either love the Patriots or hate the Patriots. But um, you know, at the end of the day, it's like it's just a sport. You know, it's just a sport, and uh, and hopefully we have a a good game. So we'll see how it is. We'll see how it turns out. And if and if we lose, all right. Well, you know, make sure to hit up my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and and say. Ha, you lost. <laughs> Take that, Tom Brady. <laughs> but anyways, as always, uh, I extend my love and appreciation to all of you, to all my friends, uh, to all my family, of course, and to just, you know, all those fellow artists that are out there. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to see you guys in upcoming shows. I know... Um, I know Leanne and Trace, I know you guys are going to Megacon. I'm still trying to work out my table. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I look forward to seeing everybody. I say thank you to everybody that tuned in and that got to, uh, got to see this super awesome project. And, um, and yeah, we'll see you next week. So lots and lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And we'll see you next week. All right. Adios. Goodbye. We will see you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>